Good morning, folks. First thing to notice is the calibration maneuvers on the SDO satellite causing the glitches. We're going to see the sun without them and a whole lot more starting at spaceweathernews.com. We're finding the last day on our star was mostly quiet on the Earth-facing half of the sun. After the calibration roll, there were some small pops around the limb, but that's about it. While the SDO was doing its roll, we pulled the identical wavelength from the GOES SUVI. The period during SDO's calibration was also quiet. But on to things improperly scaring people. Folks, the massive CME seen on Soho yesterday is being fear-mongered a bit online into a big event coming at Earth. Problem is the 2D perspective. The blast is not coming towards us, it came off the far side, heading away, as seen here on stereo with Earth off to the right. Quick stop in Toledo, Ohio, where after some deliberation and doubt from experts, it is now pretty much confirmed that it was a lightning strike that took out the mural. The question was whether it was indeed lightning in the area, and here we can see there most certainly was. It's the lightning mapper from GOES, and I've circled Toledo, Ohio on the map so you can see how the region was under the gun during those storms. Speaking of storms, excellent article about the vortex disruption to the ionosphere during strong geomagnetic events. This is expected given the vortex disruption of the atmosphere by the global electric circuit. The layers act like the double boundary between the earth and tornado tops even way up in the ionosphere. Lot of questions coming in about the moon wobble. Well folks, this is a nearly 20 year cycle the moon goes through, does it every other decade. And this story is just them saying that, well now sea level rise will actually make it bad, which is what they said last time, by the way. Beyond that, excuses, excuses, always blaming man for what the earth, sun, and galaxy are doing. Folks, that moon wobble thing is a double fail. Over to a question surging over the last four days as well. How long does it take for the actual magnetic flip to occur? Well, the long cron events that only occur every few hundred thousand years can happen very rapidly. And what we're looking at today now is the excursion cycle unfolding. Those are the shorter duration, fast flips. The answer to the question is probably not very long at all. Folks, it's needed that we come back to check the Earth's rotation glitches again. Yesterday, we went over the preposterous, fastest day forecast for October 11th, how it jumped not only months back, but to a much faster degree. Well, let's now push that back one more day and set it a little bit faster. The days are shortening. The thermal effects at the low velocity zone build with every acceleration. The crust and mantle are only locked by a delicate thermoelectric equilibrium, and every speed up heats that layer. Like a tennis ball on a string, or a waiter carrying a plate on his hand. Spin it too quickly. The tennis ball breaks off the string. The plate crashes to the floor. The thermoelectric equilibrium breaks down at the low velocity zone. We greatly appreciate your support. Got a bunch of deeper look episodes for you this month for website members at suspiciousobservers.org, not to mention the weekly podcasts. Website is one of the best ways to support the channel and there's hundreds of hours of more videos available there. We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.